It has to be. Look at this guy. It has to be photoshopped, right? Of course, yeah. I mean, I, I would think so. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe yeah, not. no, it seems. It seems weird. It seems weird. I don't know. Let's check it out. Sensei Alonso. Oh my God, he looks powerful, <laughs> man. Watch out. His sword there. Oh my God. He like that. that like he he probably wishes that that was him. Actually, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> fucking last samurai. <laughs> the bottom. The bottom right corner that makes it look official so i don't know oh is this like i don't think that's i don't know you don't think it's real i think that's fan fiction but very very well made let's see let's check this out oh yeah oh look at that (laughs) at first glance i was fooled (laughs) but obviously it hits it it hits home somewhere right oh yeah he's he 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 always like well every once in a while like he he, he'd make a post about like you know something like you know the the samurai never gives up or something like that yeah (laughs) he has like a a, a fight with honor and shit yeah he has like a tattoo of like a a samurai sword like down his spine oh jesus christ he's serious man (laughs) yeah he's he's into uh nippon a lot is this a new is this a new thing for him no well has he always been eclectic i don't know because that seems like a very weird thing to just sort of be into. I, he's working for Honda now, right? Oh, okay. So, so that makes sense. I'm, I don't know what I'm right. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this joke makes sense. He works, he works for Honda. So, yeah. See the, the bottom right there? That's why it looks... Oh, it yeah. Looks, it did look mad official. <laughs> I think that's why I, I, I bought it. I bought it. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yes. Well, this hey, is you. <laughs> the Flat Out Fever F1 podcast. It is. Episode 12. 12. If oh, you're just yeah. joining us, welcome. Welcome. Uh, and this thank is you. <laughs> this is us. I'm, I'm Jay. Danny. And I'm Mike. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and this week, we're looking forward to the Malaysian Grand Prix coming up. Mm, yes. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited. But actually, before before we we get into that, like oh, we should yeah. we should we should do all, all, all this stuff that we should do. Come on, Danny. The plugs, emails, the website, uh, flat out fever. flatoutfever dot com, flatoutfever at gmail, the Twitter if you wanna, on everything. Twitter. If you want to tweet, us. hey, if you want to call us, <clears throat> call, call, yeah, call in, yeah, 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 Skype. yeah. Skype. We're at, at, we're flat out fever. Flat just, out fever. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can Reddit. add us. Just don't be fucking weirdos. <laughs> 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 like I get it. Yeah, I get it. But, uh, damn internet, <laughs> you scurry. <laughs> um, what, listen, what else we got? Reddit. We got Elmo. Bam- we got we got we got Facebook too. Oh yeah, we do we got Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. And listen to bamboo.com. Ron, listen to bamboo.com. Yeah. For Give us a listen. Cool music. For fun. And, and yeah, and flatofever.com. Uh, you can find our I, like, uh, an iTunes link there if you're into that, or <laughs> RSS. Uh, somebody pointed on, oh, actually, like the guys at, uh, yeah. at the, uh, I think they're Thank called you very much. The Limit. The Limit? Oh, or On The Limit? Look it up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's on, it's on, it's on uh, they, have, they have a website and it's on Twitter, On The Limit Podcast. Uh, there are a couple guys from the UK. Um, cool. They just got started to like, uh, they look cool, but... It, they they tweet they tweeted like, us. Is it like our sister podcast? Like, I can't, well, I mean, <laughs> can, can, can it be? Shout it to them. I've always wanted to go to the UK. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, they, they tried to add, like he, like he basically went on on our website and he tried to add us. Oh, sick! He, well, but he he said that nobody or he said not everybody uses iTunes. Uh, where's your RSS link? Well, it's up on the website now. Booyaka yeah, shot. as of today. Thank mm-hmm. you, thank yeah. you. For but yeah, thanks for thanks pointing, for pointing that, out. that out. Yeah, um, and thank you know, th- seriously, thanks to everybody that that has subscribed. Uh, where uh, I, I know I know that it's uh, you know we've. Tre- treading uh, te- treacherous waters, listening yeah. to like a brand new podcast, right? <laughs> but it's uh, we're cool, you know. We we we're, we're just doing this for fun because yeah. we like to uh, sit down and talk about F one. We got Mike into F one. Bam! You watched this I mean, first race. It was, was, was oh my god, Grand Prix. my race cherry was, like, was so popped. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the the Australian Grand Prix? Because a lot of people are saying that it wasn't that interesting. This and that. I gotta say, I was very excited. Yeah, it was exciting to watch, and I learned a lot. Like, 
crashes happen. Like, <laughs> like I felt at the beginning of that ma- of that race, like it was just over for so many people so early mm-hmm. on, and then like Lewis yeah. Hamilton just sort of takes off, and that was kind of interesting to see. Is that like a normal thing to happen in F one? Sometimes like, in F one, like leader of the pack. Well, yeah. sometimes in F one, there there does like every once in a while, there's a team. That that comes around and figures out the rules and 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 and, and the regulations so mm-hmm. well, and the that, politics and the politics so uh, well that they that yeah that they they are clearly dominant and that has happened here and there in the history of F one. Mm-hmm. Cool, yeah, yeah, but I really liked it as a first corner. It, it was pretty chaotic. <laughs> yeah, holy but shit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not uncommon. Well, you really. should, if you guys are wondering what my reaction was, watch that video for the first five minutes at least, where like. Four crashes happen, and my mind is blown that like these people are just out like millions of dollars. <laughs> yep, exactly. And that's the crazy thing, man. <sighs> Holy <laughs> shit! Walk back with your helmet still on. Yeah, you're like, yeah. No, like there's nothing you can do. Yeah, no. Ah, but you're, the wheels, the wheels came off. And yeah. Like Joe Sayward said, though, man. <laughs> like a, a Grand Prix is a big. Like it's a big, it's a deal. big deal. It's a yeah. big deal, and yeah. winning it should require big scale. So, yeah, yeah. And that is something I I witnessed. I and, and I'm glad I had you guys there to sort of like g- uh, walk me through it, right? <laughs> uh, and I learned a lot because like ha- had you not been there, I would have I'd be like, oh, that's a race turn one, turn five, and now like I see what goes into something like this, and it's, you know, it's astounding. Well, it's. It's crazy, and a, and a lot of people like just uh, say this that that it's 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 kind of hard to relate to to F one sometimes because you can you can kick up a, a ball and like sort of like you know in your mind you know picture yourself as a as a, as a soccer player yeah, yeah you can like you can throw a football <clears throat> you can you can you can bat a, yeah. a base you know a base but it's it's hard to like even like imagine car racing sometimes well if you count Mario yeah. Kart. But uh, <laughs> hey, no, I, that's all I'm saying. I man. think I think video games are a, a great tool to like casting <laughs> or sorry, a pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. Oh man, see, yeah, it's sharp turns. Uh, so I remember watching that. Vi- you showed me a video uh, about um, one of the guys from Top Gear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And that really blew oh, my yeah. mind. Uh, and that's when I learned about racing in a way that like you need to go fast in order to turn. Yeah. And like that. Is like fucking. That is crazy. Like <laughs> you're flying. Like you have to commit to that sort of speed. Oh and then, yeah. Uh, you're, yeah he, he, if you don't, you're fucked. Him driving fast cars as a career couldn't. He couldn't keep up. Yeah. At all. Yeah. He, he just. He completely failed. Yeah. If, so, anyone, wait, wait, if our, anyone wants to check that out, it was uh, Richard Hammond. Oh yeah, that's you got, right. You get a chance to uh, drive drive Al- an F1 car a few Alonso's, years. Alonso's. You can check it out. On Alonso's tra- a championship winning car. Yeah, that that Renault, Ooh, and, and the last of the V tens. <laughs> through the afternoon, yeah. they moved him up. Also, through is that one faster than the more one powerful? More, you more powerful, could say. Yeah. Oh, not okay. necessarily faster. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. The engine is more powerful, yeah. maybe. It's a different formula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I know about cars is gas goes in, <laughs> exhaust, and speed come out. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets eventually too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As as Brundle always says, you get the the brakes and and the loud pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Brundle, oh, he's, he's well played. <laughs> Touche. <Yeah. laughs> um, what? Are, yeah. So yeah, we, uh, we, Malaysia's coming up, and I'm yeah. very excited yeah. because yes. I mean, it's as, one of my favorite tracks. I did like I did like Australia in because maybe uh, and, and there's there's um. Formula One blog dot com, like they have a great podcast too. If you guys want to check it out, it's it's really mm-hmm. good. Um, it, in in their last podcast, they basically said that you know what, there may have not been a lot of action uh, on the track at all times, but there were some very interesting stories that came out from that Grand Prix, mm. like uh, Australia, uh, Australia, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, well, the amount of cars that started and finished. Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, my god, it's, it's crazy. It seemed like a record low in terms of. It was it very low. It wasn't yeah. a record, but it was low. It was, well, there, there was a, a how many pr- cars finished in the end? Ten, eleven, eleven. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, Jesus. Yeah, crazy. And then how many but, started? What? Fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen started. Yeah, because remember the uh, one guy caught on fire, um, and then Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Magnuson, <laughs> Kevin Magnuson's McLaren caught on fire on the warm up lap. And Kvyat <laughs> didn't. It just didn't start. Or yeah, it, like it also failed. Hydraulic problem or something. 
Yeah, it was. Lots, lots of cars there there was. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of cars, mm-hmm. but it was still a great Grand Prix. Yeah. But even even if the circumstances in terms of how many cars start and end um, are the same in Malaysia, it's gonna be way crazier. No yeah. matter what, because yeah. <laughs> and and if especially if it rains, which we have all the authority <gasps> from. The weather people. The weather guy. <laughs> Should we check that out? Let's go to. Let's go to. Look uh, at that forecast quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Google. It's it's rain. Saint, it's Saint rain Google. through next Thursday. Saint Google has shown us. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 going to rain all weekend, and it's going to be hot as hell too. Oh yeah. Jesus! Uh, wait, when most is it, uncomfortable. So wait, races when is it happening? The their time? It's like uh, three o'clock, four o'clock. I yeah. Don't know. Something like that on your Sunday, right? Yeah, but that's well, most races are somewhere between like noon and four p.m. Oh, okay. there's with a couple of night races now, sunset race. But yeah, most of them are in, in the afternoon. But it's gonna be raining and hot as hell, super humid, it's crazy. Thirty what, four degrees. Okay, Celsius. so a question maybe: What driver do you think has the most skill uh, in terms of dealing with that sort of oh, adversity, dude? And this is this is a topic that can be like you can you can you can spend days talking about this. Oh, and this, sick. especially and, the new cars, the first time they're gonna see rain. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This year, yeah. with like, and and the thing is that these uh, these twenty fifteen cars have like, uh, but the twenty fourteen cars la- last year they had like engines that were sort of similar. It, it, you could say that the engines are like maybe maybe even more powerful and faster now, yeah. faster whatever that means. <laughs> um, uh, but it, it, they were kind of the same last year with the same kind of like high torque power delivery. Um, that dri- some drivers might have not been used to, but there weren't that many like tough, uh, like like drenching wet races except for Japan last year, right? It did rain in Malaysia, but it wasn't. It wasn't well, like yeah, it wasn't. Crazy. Wasn't it wasn't crazy. Season. Japan was crazy rain. Yeah, but yeah, if, it was uh, last year. Was actually a really dry year. Yeah, the whole season. If it rains here, like, and if it rains like with a vengeance, the way that it often does in Malaysia. I think we're gonna see a very interesting race it's with with all the new rookies, and even if uh, you know yeah, Al- Alonso so. at the back with a um, uh, with with that McLaren, that's worth shit. But uh, some people do say that there are some drivers that have like so much skill in the rain, and like dri- like driving well in the rain is a mark of like but, what like being one of the greats. Schumacher was great in the rain. Senna was incredible in the rain. Yeah, Alonso, in my opinion is the best in the field in the rain right now. The thing about it is his car. It doesn't work in the dry. <laughs> You're going to try to drive this thing while it's getting water sucked into <laughs> every intake. Oh, no. It's not going to be good. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> that just seems dangerous. He might get electrocuted might, again. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we, we all watch Rush, right? <laughs> yeah. But luck, luckily, the, the lightning bolts are all the way till on Tuesday. So yeah, yeah. hopefully they won't cancel well, anything. But. Yeah. Will, will they cancel if there's... It, they don't have to be pretty no. like extreme conditions, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Like if you see Japan last year, it rained a lot. Like, oh. like, <laughs> like the most rain you've ever seen. And they're try, trying to race. Oh, Jesus! Race around. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. We use a lot of tires this weekend, I guess. Write to us. Write to us uh, what you're looking forward to the most. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to win? Well, I mean, Lewis, we we know Lewis who's Hamilton. gonna win. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, Roscoe Rocket. <laughs> As as far as Tilki's tracks go, I think this is probably probably my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah really? Even I, I even over Coda. So. Yeah, I think is so. It, wait, hold on a second. Is it your favorite driving F one, the game? No, I think just as far as the Tilki circuits go, like as, it does look as, pretty cool. I gotta say for a track. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say my favorite track of the year, but the Tilki ones, it, it's I like it. It's good. It's got a lot of elevation. Got a lot of speed. Should we check it let's out? See. Yeah. Sure. Let's look at okay, it. let's go to this one. Here we go. It's 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 it has a cool shape. Yeah, you, like, de- you definitely can't see the elevation from here, but Oh, is there is, is a elevation? Fair, is a fair bit, yeah. Damn. It's that's a hill there to damn. the right, isn't it? This like, one? Uh, uh, there, that, that green thing. This looks hilly now. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, over there. Somewhere over I here. think so. You can kinda yeah, you can see that's a bit a bit higher there, yeah. Comes up. Oh yeah. Okay. I see. It's 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 really hard actually to judge elevation like when when you see it from this angle for some reason. Yeah, this is just wild yeah, speculation. Right. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is what we do have exactly. here. Exactly. <laughs> it's this, a good race. This looks crazy. So t- uh, tell me about this. Like Danny, you were telling me before that like there's like three definite distinctive straightaways. 
on the like, track or like high speed zones. High, high speed zones. Yeah, what, that, these, what well, does that mean? These two straightaways for sure here. I think so they're just gonna be blasted. This is like the longest grandstand in the world as well. I think. Oh, is it uh, along there or one, oh, of, one of them? I, I think it does have one of those uh, stats. Yeah, so I don't know. If this, one point three. Is this it? This thing that, that white V in the center there. That white yeah. V is one point three kilometers of grandstand. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's yeah. That, that would be, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this this track is I I it I I like it and it's you know it the beginning of the season is is already done. Mm -hmm. Now we can like move on to like F1 is back in business, mm, you know, yeah. every couple of weeks or business so like as usual, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, at first they have a few like uh, flyaways, the three, um, uh, Australia, uh, Malaysia and Bahrain. Mm -hmm. um, but Malaysia is like out of those three, I think it's like, like a proper race. Mm. Cause Sick. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, China. But, I guess China is coming too. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're right. There's four. Yeah. Is it the same um, uh, same tracks every year? Mo yeah. uh, same order, sorry? Sometimes. Sometimes. It, it, it changes from time yeah, to time. Yeah, they moved them around. <clears throat> Brazil, Brazil, like the Brazil was the last race for a long time. Now it's uh, Abu Dhabi. Mm, the last okay. year and this year. Um, I don't know. And, the, for, and, the, and the Germany's out. Yeah, Germany's out now. Germany's o out. Officially, no German Grand Prix. For the first I'll be the time. Same Deutschland. For the first time since 1960. It's terrible. It's 90, I didn't know 1960, that. there hasn't... Like, there, it's crazy. Like, there's always... Like, every year, there's been a German Grand Prix. How is there... I mean, the thing is... What blows my mind is the fact that there's a Montreal Grand Prix. You know what I mean? Like, over a German Grand Prix. Yeah. Is it really yeah. that minimal of a... No, I think I, th I think it's. A, Is it like a political move? Yeah, I think I think it's, there there are other forces at play. Wild speculation. Yeah. yeah well, the Nurburgring recently went out of business and traded hands, something, oh. something like that. And I guess the new owners. I don't know. Let me tell. Let me get let it together, and then by the time they History got time. it together, they, <laughs> they threw the excuse out that there's not enough time to sell tickets now. Oh. oh, but l l let me tell you what I think that really happened, okay? Because yeah. uh, before, I mean, it, it, the, the Germans had like two main tracks, right? And and and, and they've both been like both historically, uh, I'd say, equally important uh, uh, when it, when it comes to F one because they've both been around for like pretty much since the beginning. Mm -hmm. The Hockenheim Ring and uh, the, the, Nürburgring. the Nürburgring. Yeah, exactly. Up until like eight or nine years ago, I think they were racing at both. Both, because both every the, year. the European Grand Prix, so there was a thing as, there's no European Grand Prix anymore, but right. there was a European Grand Prix and that happened at the Nürburgring, rightfully so, because the Nürburgring is like, the old Nürburgring was the, the, the top track in Europe, right? But as an aside, isn't the... Their talk of bringing back the European Grand Prix in Azerbaijan. Yeah, so there is uh, some. We like won't that. get into that right now. Oh. <coughs> but anyway, yeah. So there were there were two races in Germany, and and both like historically important. Mm -hmm. Now, um, yeah. both both tracks underwent some renov like some some remodeling, some renovation. Yeah. For the sake of safety, and in my opinion, they both got utterly ruined. Oh. Like, like just butchered. The, the, the old Nurburgring and the North Slicer, they, they don't they don't race it anymore. Uh, not an F one. Yeah, well, not yeah, not F one doesn't. Right. Uh, and the old Hungara Ring, like the like uh, the, the walkabout through the forest, like that part is gone. They just basically yeah, they they butchered that track. And yeah, Hockenheim, even up until yeah, like two thousand six or seven, mm -hmm. they they did the the far the forest part there of yeah. the Hockenheim Ring. Yeah, the, I don't know, the new part. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, 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 it's modernized. Uh, like, what are you so. gonna say about it? Like, it, it was dangerous before, but yeah, I don't know. It, I think you're right it, that it affected attendance and well, people it, were pissed off about it. To, uh, well, it's, it's, it's similar to, like, Spa is not dissimilar to true. the way that was. Yeah, but Spa is still sick. Right. They managed, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. It's yeah. like it's like if they decided now to shorten. Short and spa, and just make a little cut across, and just keep it to like, no, you know, that the first couple of corners, and they, people would get pissed. Yeah, exactly. yeah, they it would decrease in attendance, and that in that that um, situation, the both tracks are getting uh, tilted. 
um, <laughs> the, uh, coincided with uh, the retirement of Michael Schumacher, right? So already, so yeah. Germans just started to get, I mean, some Germans, the, the, the furore yeah. was over. A lot of people were upset at uh, Sebastian Vettel as well. Well, yeah, apparently Sebastian Vettel um, does. He he's not. He doesn't do very good with German media. Like he's not. He's not. He's not as likable in Germany. Yeah. And he was getting. He was getting booed when he was winning. And th but the thing is, I don't know. I don't know. I'm German, but like with Nico Rosberg, even he was oh, fighting he for first place until the end of the year. He's German. Yeah, but he's not but really. German attack. We he, talked about this, I think, he, a week or two ago. That he races for Germany, but he's not like a German hero. And he's he's actually Finnish, right? Like he's not, he, he, he might have been, uh, I think his mother is German. So he is half whatever. German. He races under the German flag. Yeah, but only now. Only now because it's convenient. Yes. During his whole karting <laughs> career, when he was uh, karting against Lewis Hamilton, if you see those old pictures, his yeah. flag is the is the, Dan is, uh, the Finnish the flag. flag. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. So so we we, ha we have a, a a number of factors that are coming together, and then they decide that neither the Nurburgring or uh, the Hockenheim ring can hold can afford to host the yeah. race every year. So they decide to flip it back and forth. Right. Mm -hmm. This year was the chance for um, the Nurburgring. It was supposed to be the Nurburgring. Yeah, year. it was supposed to be the Nurburgring. But the Nurburgring. Remember how it was on sale, and Bernie wanted right. to buy it. Yeah. Right. Bernie got outbid by the people that now own the Nurburgring. What I think happened is that as soon as that happened, I don't know, like, you know how you don't fuck with Bernie? <laughs> Maybe he just <laughs> jacked their price, made it impossible for them to actually host the German Grand Prix to force some sort of, like, maybe to force them into, I, I think to, Bernie... To sell them part of the... I think uh, maybe, Bernie... Maybe sell them in, him an interest in the track. The, the German Grand Prix is not going to be gone for a long time. I, I think the German Grand Prix will it's, come back, it's too, but when yeah, it does too, come back... It's gonna be when Bernie wants to come back. That, I hadn't thought of that angle, but you're probably right. Yeah. But one of the, the things that we talked about a week or two ago is of all the major world markets that <clears throat> Germany was lost the most viewership last year. They lost the most. Yeah. But something we talked about last week is that um, Mercedes doesn't. It's crazy. Like they're the winning championship team, and they don't have a home Grand Prix now. This is kind of. Their, their fallback. This is their home ground. That's right true. Now. Yeah, Patronas. Patronas. Yeah, they're their 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 second biggest sponsor, and I think uh, it's probably probably for sponsorship reasons. Uh, you see, on uh, all over Twitter, whatever the other day, uh, Nico uh, ran up the towers, ran up the Patronas <laughs> towers. <laughs> yeah, Just for exercise, do some training. This is good though. Like, I mean, that's that's bringing F one to the masses, isn't it? Though. Yeah. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure, for sure it is. But that, this is this this is their home race, for basically. It has been it has th that kind of task though, and we were we were talking about this. It it is right now being left up to the sponsors, up up to the teams to like promote the sport promote in this, this way by yeah. by like bringing it to the masses. This this you you're right in, in saying, man. This should be the responsibility of FOM. They need to be like organizing conferences around the world with the drivers. The way the way that UFC is doing it, I'm I, I'm I'm starting to see it your way, man. Yeah. If if anyone just for the sake of uh, just 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 to see what they're what they're doing and what F1 could be doing so simply, just look at the UFC's YouTube channel. It's they're, right now they're doing uh, they're promoting their next event. Kind of it would be basically like promoting the next Grand Prix. It's gonna be an event in June. They're taking the two guys. It would be like the two main drivers on a tour for a few days, a couple of main cities, and doing two minute videos. They throw up every day. They could do this That's for the it race. Takes. That's walk, all it takes. Walk through the garage with a camera. Talk to the the guy that changes the tires how's the it going are, what do you guys get ready for there. this weekend the teams people are there to, right now want to see that kind of stuff gets people hyped but, up and but see like so the teams are there right now two, you know what two, i mean it's yeah like, yeah like teams have arrived have they're, started to arrive it's what it's wednesday yeah. uh they've been there all week like some teams have, have started to arrive like since the beginning of the week right yeah they could be doing something they could be following maybe it's not worthwhile for television like for you know like a, a, a big channel like sky it's not it's probably not going to start like sending people just just to attract what like 20 30 thousand views but if they do it as like a as a side thing like a an fom only channel and even though like um, yeah. FYM, like Formula One just opened a channel on YouTube, I think, but what they have is like, it's nothing like that. They could be doing that very easily. Yeah, you can see what they're doing is very low cost. And 
<clears throat> the Grand Prix is the same type of thing. They have events every two or three weeks. Um, they show up a week ahead of time, and for that week, they they do every day. It's like a two or three minute video. You can you sit down before the event, just I don't know, gets you people involved. It's a small thing they could be doing to attract. Even even like this, interest. I mean, this Nico Rosberg thing. I mean, just just because of that, for doing that, I'm sure it attracted like tons of local press, at least in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's a lot of stairs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of stairs you ran up. Yeah, <laughs> the, the tallest twin towers in the world, I believe. I think so. Big yeah. buildings there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. ran up a lot of stairs, but uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um. We want to we, before we get into more detail about about um, Malaysia, and we are going to uh, towards the end uh, to, towards the end uh, um, of this podcast, we're gonna do like a little preview segment to uh, uh, to Malaysia. Um, I, I you 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 well, were talking news, about the Pirellis, like what's going on with the with Pirelli? Because he yeah, so they just been bought out by China. China China owns Pirelli now. Crazy. No longer Italian. China, but, like a, like like one of the one of the state owned companies. It's a, a company called Chem China. Okay. Which is a state owned oh, so group yeah. of companies. The country of China now owns the Italian manufacturer of tires. <laughs> like yeah. the they start it's a, a seven point seven billion dollar I think they're taking hundred over a hundred percent. The starting with I believe the just the, the we don't want to get on all the crazy details, but they're starting. They're taking over the biggest investor in Pirelli, which owns like two and a half billion dollars worth or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, this will give them clout to launch a legal bid for like a, a full takeover of the company. I guess oh, shit. just mm. basically buy them out, which gives uh, Chem China basically all of Pirelli's advanced technology. They make race tires, rain oh, tires, shit. motorcycle tires, Formula One. They're the tire supplier for Formula One. God damn. So whatever gets the Pirelli brand into Asia, gets China tire technology. Yeah, that's it. The per that's Pirelli's Chinese now. <laughs> Look at those industrious little fellas <laughs> just taking over. I'm yeah. glad. Good for them. Good for them. That's great. <laughs> One of the biggest tire manufacturers in the world now. They are like they, they like like you said they have they have a, a strong presence in motorsport. Yep. Um and they just in in high performance tires like uh you know all those new the new supercars that come out like they like they 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 have Pirellis right like the yeah exactly yeah. so mm -hmm. uh cool cool for them um Pirelli though right now is I think at the at the end of the whole uh, Michelin Bridgestone era which is a uh, early two thousands uh. Formula One had two tire suppliers, mm -hmm. uh, Michelin and Bridgestone, and some teams would with one or the other, um, and 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 some would even say that like it, there, there was a tire war as well, right? Like who who can get who can compete? Like th th there was competition to create like the best tires. Mm -hmm. um, as a process of uh, as a consequence of that, um, we had we ended up having in the Formula One tires that would last an entire race. For example, um, because they just were building like they 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 managed to build like perfect racing tires. Mm -hmm. At that moment, it just it took it took away it, it, it instead of helping the sport, it started to take away from the sport. Uh oh! So they <laughs> decided to switch to one supplier, Pirelli, um, and they purposely told Pirelli to make their tires shit in order <laughs> in not so, in not Basically. such few words right but they were like we need we need tires that will degrade because the the tires will last that tire that, that will last an, an entire race with the same level of grip would mean that you don't have to do any pit stops oh unless, really unless unless back then the pit stops were to uh to fill your car back up with gas oh my god but gas, right. yeah. So when they when they banned, they uh, too dangerous. Yeah. One time, Felipe Massa in in uh, Singapore, well, it's happened more than once. Cars have caught on fire, or refueling, or um, guys drove away with the gas hose still attached oh, to Massa. the car. Oh, a big fire, fucking Matt, cloud. Yeah, Massa yeah. did that and just <laughs> spraying gas all down the pit. And like, you know, it's got dead, so they out, they've outlawed refueling now it, on oh safety grounds, God. and and also for um, another, it's taking a spin for. Uh, Fuel, fuel, uh, fuel efficiency. Right. So right. for fuel efficiency and and for safety, there's no more like in mid, in the middle of the race refueling. Now when was that? When was that brought in? Recently. So oh really? Yeah, like as, in, in mid 2000s. Okay. Three, four, 2012 or 11, I think something like that. Maybe, Earlier than maybe that. Maybe 10. Earlier than that. 
But I think. What, what was happening at the start, like, it was tires were delaminating, like, rubber was just coming apart, like, mm-hmm. they were maybe on the edge of two shit. Yeah. But, yeah, basically, Pirelli is in, t- in charge of choosing the tires chosen for that race to maximize the strategy involved they, or they, the excitement. To they, they want each team to come in on average over the whole year two pit stops per race. Right. Okay. So and, and, and that and that's good because it adds it adds a level of strategy to F one that F one may be lost when they outlawed uh, outlawed the, the refueling and since the tires by then were so good that they didn't have basically you could have had just the cars coming in right. or not coming in at all to the pits. And and, and you don't want that. Because right. Right. Then, then then races become like extremely monotonous. Right. Yeah. But like so, sometimes you you'll see like a race will be one stop, sometimes three stops. Like Malaysia last year was one on a three stop strategy. They stopped three times. That was Jesus. it was three stopping three times was faster because you got you're on newer tires for more amount of time. Stopping three times was faster than stopping two times. Wow. Now because you'd be running on older tires for longer. Right. Pirelli have to supply and obviously like it, 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 so two two sets of tires so many but tires. so many set like or actually two kinds of tires for the race uh in the dry. And also, they have to supply like wet, wet, wet weather tires for each race. Even though, like, even though it might never rain in that part of the world, they yeah. have to just for safety for, to have them there. Yeah. Um. And and so they have to make this an incredible amount of F1 tires, and it takes them a long time to to because these these are people that are engineering the tires very specifically. So yeah. it takes them some time to plan to build like uh, try different compounds, see how like they perform, and yeah. then they have to make it each each tire from beginning. To end, it takes like this factory in uh, like I think it's a, their main factory in Turkey, uh, six months. Mm. So each like each tire, I mean, it, it, granted they they make all of them at once. That's fucking crazy. But but from beginning to end, that's how long a tire takes to make. It's like think about, think about <laughs> this. You get you get like three sets of uh, your what is it? Three sets of the main tire, two of the options, something like that. It's it's something like that. plus your practice tires, uh, plus if it rains. If, say if you sometimes you might use the intermediates and the wet tires. If that happens on a weekend, they're going through s- somewhere around like seven or eight hundred tires for uh, just the F one, just the F one cars in that weekend. Jesus. Yeah, so, maybe more, probably more. Yeah, probably so more, so think about that. Including the practices, they want they and obviously uh, trucks, uh, tr- trucks and trucks <laughs> full of tires. To 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 do all that, yeah, they have to like they they have to be prepared and they have to know. Things like how wide am I gonna be required to make these tires, guys? How much like how much strength do I have to like like do the tires have to bear? Right. Like how much how much torque? And there's a, there's this endless discussion right now going back and forth um, uh, in in the F1 strategy group. Like, oh, are we are we gonna are we gonna increase uh, to a thousand horsepower or not? And yeah, they're are that's we gonna what, increase to eighteen inch rims or, or not? not. Uh, uh, They've tested big, those like low fat, pro tires, big fat tires uh, yeah, for the fat back tires for, or not or, or or not. And they're just like flip flopping through these arguments, whereas Pirelli's telling them like, yo, like. Let me know so I can start making these tires. Mm. Yeah. You have to design them and then, yeah. like you said, spend months building thousands of them. Testing like, the comp, just testing the compounds alone. It's gonna take a while. Plus testing, they're using like twenty five thousand of these Formula One tires in the season, something like that. What? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, including the te- all the testing time. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. That's a, a lot, lot of, of tires. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Oh, what a. And they just 20, throw them out like. At the end, they're like, well, these are done. Whether or not they even get used, that's how many they have to make to potentially use them. Yeah. Right. Say it rains every weekend. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they use some sort of predicting model and. <clears throat> oh, they, they, they have very get, they get very get, smart people working estimate. on this. Way, way way smarter than all three of us for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the estimate is very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they definitely make way too many still. Yeah. They definitely make too, too many of these tires. They have to. Oh, that's yeah, great. Like you said, they have to like for safety on on safety grounds, and in case the wars happens in a weekend, they have to be prepared. And they're doing a great job. Pirelli is like I think that <laughs> up and down the paddock. Pirelli is like one of the most professional companies that's involved with F1. Mm. <laughs> I would say so, yeah. yeah. Very <clears throat> very little politics involved with Pirelli. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Hamilton. 
wait to see. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I love this picture. Well, there's Roscoe. Now we know. So I guess he <laughs> kept him. Boom. <laughs> This guy st- is not even wearing socks. <laughs> oh, this is this is upsetting. <laughs> it's like yeah. so. So, just imagine being Lewis Hamilton, right? <laughs> He's probably loving this. <laughs> like, oh yeah. How could you not? Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roscoe. Roscoe. They name, name my uh, you fantasy. You get a very uh, fast dog. No, <laughs> the, the, the world champion for like a greyhound, yeah, no. or, you or, would, or you a cheetah, expect, yeah. <laughs> or a cheetah, yeah, like one of those servile cats, yeah, you know, like, like those African cats you can get. You those know, yeah, can, like sort of, you can everywhere. You can kind of domesticate one of those. Yeah, yeah sure. everywhere. The servos are like this. Yeah, yeah, they will. <laughs> but, you know. Look at this. So, so Lewis, you uh, can afford uh, the property. For sit, 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 sit there, sit there, cross your legs. All right, now, now put both your hands like, over the one knee. Now, now look at Roscoe. Okay, look at Roscoe. Look, look at Roscoe like you, like you, like you're sorry for his life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect, great, Lewis, oh, grand. Wow. <laughs> God damn. So. I- <clears throat> Rumor again, he's hoping to get this contract signed before Sunday. Mm. He's looking for... So who is he signing with? Mercedes. Mercedes. He's the, he's, but there's, oh, that's right. There's yeah. been rumors the that champion. he's been going back with uh, Ferrari. I think a lot of fans, I think, would like to see him take over Kimi Raikkonen's spot at Ferrari. And mm-hmm. Him and Vettel challenge each other at Ferrari. Oh, my That'll God. Be that would be epic. pretty sweet. To, the, basically, do, do the people two best switch teams very like often. They can if they well, if they don't have a contract. Yeah, really. Yeah, his contract's up at oh, like I don't know the end of the season. Seems so, like pretty like there's, there's been incestuous in the sense of like <laughs> like the whole organization. It's, 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 it's a cra- it's a crazy uh, like position, to, especially be, for a champion, right? Because yeah. once once you get he's a double t- a double world champion now once you get like your 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 championship in and and you can and prove you that you can it yeah then then i think that that gives you a lot of bargaining power mm-hmm. um and yeah some some people have gone in the past and used that bargaining power just to say okay i'm staying with you because clearly like you're a winning squad or if they know that the team is in decline or they have a feeling about it mm. or if they want to I don't know whatever for, for whatever fucked up reason they can go to another team and clearly like as a champion like if you go knocking on somebody's door they're not going to say no right <laughs> right they're going to say like yes yeah. yes please sir like yes, please. If we, <laughs> what else championship would you like? here yeah <laughs> especially ferrari is like the team that the kids grow up most kids grow up wanting to drive for it. Yeah, so, yeah, but there, totally. there's been rumors of him challenging himself against Vettel Ferrari. There's been rumors about him signing a contract with Mercedes for the rest of his career too. So, Jesus, I don't know. But basically, the new rumor is that he's trying to get it signed for Sunday, which would be huge for Mercedes mm. Petronas in Malaysia for forty million pounds a year. Mm. No, let's think about that for a second. That's yeah. like sixty million. I believe More that makes that. him the would make him the highest paid British athlete of mm. all time. That's crazy. So, he, but he he, he is asking for a lot. Yeah. Vettel, I think, uh, is making is the most right now. He's like what thirty? Thirty, I think, yeah. just turned. So yeah, he's he just turned 30. thirty years old. Yeah. I think Vettel is making the most right now. Ferrari's paying him fifty million euro per year. <laughs> but he's a four-time <laughs> world champion. He's so a four-time mm. champion. Exactly. Yeah. So he's, he's only got two championships. <laughs> you know. uh, yeah. he, he thinks <laughs> he, th- he definitely thinks he's better than Vettel. At least he thinks so. Yeah, well, I don't know. I would I would love to see him sign a Ferrari, uh, even for less money. But I would have I would have loved to love to have seen Alonso and, and Vettel Ferrari. But I think yeah, I think this might be an even closer battle. If it, uh, it it would be a closer battle having them was, on separate teams. No, no, no. Uh, if Hamilton and uh, and Vettel were in the same team, that would be a very close battle. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, was well, they're both more recent champions too. True, they're yeah. around the same age. Not to diss Alonso or anything, <laughs> but yeah, just the just the two, yeah, the two of them like being the same age. Yeah, the most recent current champions. I don't know. Hopefully, he'll get his contract signed. Whatever. Good luck to him. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's not like it matters to me, really. But but it, it, you'll be driving somewhere. No, most likely, my most likely Mercedes. For, yeah, most likely. I don't. I don't. I don't see him leaving Mercedes. If he if he left Mercedes with this whole engine formula now, he would be like he definitely definitely a damn fool if he did. But uh, I guess I said that about him leaving leaving McLaren. So you yeah. know what I mean. Plus him. Uh, I think going the other way and signing a contract with him until the end of his career would make that, him that would also a, a damn fool. As yeah, well. yeah, exactly. That would be smart, especially like who knows with Pirelli now if they're even going to stay in Formula One. How the new tires will be. That's who, true. Who knows the whole formula is going to change in a year, another year, and a, two years, year and a half. Um, do you think that the Mercedes are going to be like if if it rains like torrential downpour? Do you think that they're still going to be extremely dominant? Or do you think that, like... Yeah. Yeah? I think they took a 1-2 last year, I believe. Hamilton was on pole. In the rain. In super heavy rain. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I, I, I think so. <laughs> I think that... Well, who's going who's gonna to stop them? But I, I get I get the, the impression that one of the ferraris is going to definitely like going to throw a wrench in that if it rains maybe cuz both both of them both the rain and and vettel are pretty good rain drivers How, yeah you know what probably having heavy rain yeah. is a bit of an equalizer yeah but but no but it it could still be that they're just that much better but i don't think i don't oh. think it's that i don't think i think i think um mercedes dominance the mercedes mercedes team is so dominant of course, also for, because of the of the aero and the chassis, but mainly yeah. because of the engine. The engine. Mainly because of the engine, and they know how to work. They they have built a whole car around the engine that they know very well. But in the rain, yeah, if it's if it was if it was engine and aero, I think that they it's gonna. I think the outcome is gonna be Mercedes dominant again by a lot. If it's just the engine, I think it's gonna be close. You know what I mean? I think I think I think this this race I think Malaysia is gonna at least tell us, or, or tell us a bit of that, of like how much like how much the, how much is the engine influencing the Mercedes big lead? Yeah. If if there, if it rains and I hope so. I I hope it does. Well, we we just looked at the forecast. It's it, yeah. it's gonna rain. It's gonna be <laughs> raining for weeks that down there. I think. <laughs> Sorry for uh, if you hear like some noise. I think Mike just went to go investigate. Yes. Somebody's drilling or making a cake or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. It could that, be it could be one of the two. It sounds like it's coming from above us. <laughs> I'm not sure what that noise is. Anyways. It sounded kind of weird. One one thing that I think that, that is interesting is that we're we're talking about multi million dollar deals for drivers though. Mm. Uh at the one end and then we have at the other end the teams that are trying that, that are struggling um to even turn a wheel at a race like manner yeah like manner uh and and and, and that's all happening in, in formula one at the same time according to twitter they are they are there they're putting their car back together oh, and the thing is that the fia just gave him um a warning saying that they have to they have to race in malaysia that's like their, oh, yeah. like this is your final warning. You have to race in, in Malaysia. <laughs> who's gonna Who's gonna drive for them? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think. I don't. I don't even think that those two guys had uh, permanent race contracts. The guys that yeah, they yeah. with. No, they they that, had like one race contract. The Mayor, right? Mayor he, I think had a him at least had a one race contract. <laughs> the other guy, the British guy, uh, what's Stevens, his name? Will, the, Stevens. Will Stevens. Yeah. Um, him, I'm not. I'm not 100. percent But I don't know. I think he's a money guy. I think he brings in money, so that's why maybe yeah. he's there for longer. Um, but uh, all, all of this just ha has it, it, it has been quite a conversational topic for a while um, and so much the so that um, some researchers and, and, and students at the CAS Business School that's part of the London City University yeah you're telling me about this yeah yeah so it's it's okay. it, it, it's a, it's a cool article. It's on motorsport.com. Uh, is what I first where I first uh, read about it. Um, but I'm sure the, the the research papers are available um, if you care to Google them. Uh, it's a CAS Business School um, Formula One study, uh, and this is this is a very prestigious uh, business school. Uh, like it, they they have like like top ranking programs um, every year, like around the world. Like it's it's one of the best mm -hmm. business schools. Um, <sighs> And they analyzed the F1 situation 
um, and and how to like, like what what would save F one? What would make F one back to the, um, bring back to uh, to profitability? Not f just for the guys that can afford Lewis Hamilton, mm -hmm. but for everybody else um, as well. Uh, and 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 they came up with a solution that I think is is it's, it's simple and it's brilliant in its simplicity and it, and it could work. Um, but but basically they they break down the. the, the the, the the whole issue of, of of the problems of F1 they they break it down in, into several big factors and uh, one of them is that well teams need to be able to build a competitive competitive car right right <clears throat> and teams need to be able to bring competitive drivers to F1 right so those are those are two big things mm -hmm. right yeah. uh, and to, to to make F1 better in every single way you need that for sure you need those two things right uh, you need talent in F1 and you need like like teams that can compete yeah. That, uh, so, Otherwise, it doesn't work. Exactly. So what? The what, crazy thing is, though, that there's only like one Lewis Hamilton, one Alonso, one Vettel. There's like out of seven billion people, <laughs> these are like the three fastest guys they could find. Like, who's gonna who's gonna compete with them? That's been driving cars since they were seven or four years old or whatever. No, man. But <laughs> no. I, I I do agree with the argument that you know what, man. Out there. Like, the, the vehicles, uh, I, I agree. no, but, but uh, even Martin Brundle has said it. The uh, I remember like him saying something like, um, "The best racing driver could be right now chopping wood in the middle of Siberia." You know what I mean? Like like Maybe. the like the best Formula One driver could be there right now, and we just don't know because of many things. Because many 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 things. One of them is obviously like early exposure that some of these drivers get, and they now that the FIA has like basically worked out a path into F one like with the with the points and whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Th but if 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 there was a way to bring in more talent, and 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 they basically analyze and and I, I agree, if. The young drivers' development uh, programs worked the way that they're meant to be, and and, and or, or at least the, the way that they could be to maximize um, the, the the potential of bringing in good drivers to F one. Like, it, it, basically, the, the the argument that they make that the Cast Business School makes is that there needs to be a lot more resource pooling. Mm -hmm. So. They they say we can you can shared parts mean. yeah anything from like everything from shared parts to shared like uh, CFD technology like, time. yeah like maybe maybe have like a group of like the 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 three or four big teams that are big and like are being successful own their own wind tunnels yeah exactly <laughs> race some of them own their own racetracks like, uh, like the uh, Ferrari. Ferrari yeah yeah exactly. Um, Pull, like so, so have these teams that, that are super their useful to have. Well, yeah. I, I, if you if you're building F1 cars, it is right. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> own, grade one race track. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, have them at the top, and that's fine. They're gonna be at the top for many many reasons, and that's that doesn't have to change. Which is the argument that some people have, like uh, that, like oh, you know, like maybe like the big teams are just looking out for themselves. Yeah, that, that they can still be at the top, but having like I. A closer relationship, the, the same kind of clo uh, close relationship, in a way that say Ferrari has with Sauber and and had with with Manor in uh, in the way that, for example, Jules Bianchi, when he went to Manor, it was because it was he was he handpicked was by Ferrari, Ferrari Driver young Academy, develop, young developer academy. Right? So more of that and academy. and more of that to like even more uh, more of a degree, like say like if you had the Sauber and Manor. Um, so let's say yeah, like you're 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 Team Ferrari, like in the big umbrella of Ferrari, um, and and sometimes like Sauber can have like uh, some time at the at the Ferrari wind tunnel, and 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 so the, and so does Manor, and they can get like coaching even like like just the their their the technicians allowed to talk and like to learn everything will just get better from the bottom, mm -hmm. and the the top teams can still afford to be and 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 keep keep their place at the top while developing their young drivers program. It just, it's so brilliant. That does make yeah, that, <laughs> that's a lot of sense. But obviously some teams like the, the reality is that this makes sense to anybody that you, ex that, that you explain it to, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but when it comes down to like selling it, selling an idea like this to the teams, they're going to say no because they're all greedy and want to pull their own direction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, right. Like Mercedes is backed, <clears throat> by Petronas, which I found out today is 
like one of the 17th biggest company in the world or something that's crazy like, like 160 billion in assets or something like that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's no wonder yeah <laughs> they get the best gas and everything <laughs> that's the one thing that never gets talked about is the fuel where the gas comes from in f1 yeah not, not a lot of people like talk about it or no yeah, where team, does the gas come from yeah they, every, every team just they make their own gas like as much the most powerful gas you can make i the guess f- best gas well i mean i, I haven't to- read deep to- into the rules, total but. total has had a, a long-standing sp- partnership with renault so when yeah. um, when renault had a few teams in f1 more than the two that they have now um all the renault teams used to receive gas from total right. um all the mercedes teams i think they get gas from petronas, petronas. um and uh shell is Shell's with ferrari with ferrari yeah so each one has each engine i guess uh, gets their gas from a different place, and it's like really like just a, some sort of partnership that they have with uh, mm. with a, one of the big gas producers in the world. Mm. I guess whatever they helps they help each other develop their gas technology. I guess. Yeah. Jesus Christ! There's so much shit that goes on in that point. <laughs> yeah, man. It's done, it's like, where does the gas come from? <laughs> <laughs> like I just didn't know. It's, it's like, more complicated I don't than know, you think. The gas you know station. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just haul up each one of those cars yeah. to like you know just off the highway yeah, of yeah. Petro Canada like before the Canadian Grand Prix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, unload the truck. <laughs> Got to fill her up. Yeah, there's a completely separate competition on the side for and then Jacques goes, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I will do that for you. That's <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah, but that's <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. There's a. I don't know. A lot of people making a lot of sense recently. Except about, about the people F1. in charge. Except, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Except the people at the top that have to listen to it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. This Helmut Marco, um, recently, where, where did I read that? Uh, in Grand Prix 247.com, um, uh, there's an article about Marco saying, um, we need Max Mosley style leadership in F1. <laughs> Um, I I, th- I think he has sort of a point. I mean, Hel- Helmut Marko, he he just likes to fucking run his mouth for, for what I can. Like, just have the shit that he says is just like the rantings of an old man. It's like I guess like what what like he like he if he was born in this generation, he'd be like a top Twitter. You know, he just likes like just say shit. Oh, just talk. <laughs> Whatever comes to his yeah. fucking mind, he's just like no. That seems like a great idea. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's so, he. Some people, move, I guess, when, when you're when you're old and whatever, like and crazy, you you, you you get you get called outspoken. <laughs> so he's outspoken, right? Like that NBA guy. <laughs> I got uh, that- charged. What is it? Like a year ago? Half year Who's ago? That? I didn't hear. You. I missed what you said. Oh, the 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 basketball guy, the white, the old white guy. Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah, um, I, was, I'm out of all. I forget yeah. his name. Yeah, yeah he's the old billionaire racist. <laughs> yeah, I was just racist. Said Basically. some racist shit. I was spoken. Like, oh, this guy's gotta go. <laughs> yeah, he he did, he did have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a dinosaur. <laughs> but Marco, he's, he's, he's so he's, he's involved with Red Bull. He's mm-hmm. uh, their uh, chief. I don't know something or other. He 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 deals with their young development program. Um, um, and he said something. Uh, yeah, he said he said that thing about Max Mosley. But I think that what he maybe what he meant to say or 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 what that translates is that yeah maybe things are just not moving um fast enough in, in, right. in terms of making making crucial decisions in maybe. f1 and and max well yeah for sure exactly definitely, yeah. and and <laughs> definitely fuck you well max mostly for for all his controversy and, and max mostly really only left f1 because he had like he was involved in this big scandal Uh-oh. uh in in britain because he likes the whores <laughs> he likes the whores i you thought you were gonna say like dog fighting or something no, no, the whores <laughs> So but, but you know whatever man you know that's that's his thing that was yeah. his thing i mean hey. Uh, hey, but but he did a, he did a I, i'd say he did a damn good job of running f1 mm. um be, specifically because he wasn't afraid to antagonize a bunch of people especially the teams and like just pass controversial legislation and make it law and make it and like respond fast to the changing times he, jesus now ch- now times were changing at a different rate back then mm. times are moving like in terms of technology in terms of the demand of people uh, they're yes. moving 
so way fast. faster now. Yeah, crazy. So some may argue that you you can't you can't just put all that burden on 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 Jean Todt, but I've never like Jean Jean Todt is just like one of just just a typical like politician like you can like just lying through through your teeth every time like just disingenuous person. Uh, okay. Um, kind of got to buy a yacht or something. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> uh, like he, like he's. I don't know. He, I'm sure there's nice people. With well, yachts. he was he was running Ferrari before before running the FIA. <laughs> And like he he turned out so like he moved from Ferrari from like making like a pretty good salary at Ferrari to the FIA uh, the president presidency of the FIA which is a volunteer position. So you technically don't make any money, but you like obviously like you 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 know that he's getting he's, he's getting gotta his be money. some perks to it. Yeah. He's <laughs> getting his money. He's getting his money is worth there somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a yacht. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He for sure he has a yacht. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. But but yeah, it, maybe 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 it does. I mean, actually no, I agree. F one like if if not the FIA, somebody else needs to step in there uh, with like a strong hand and and just fucking move shit along. Yeah, well, yeah, I think like what everyone keeps saying: sit down, <laughs> go through that thick book of rules, and clean it up. <laughs> yeah. clean it up. Simplify everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, Malaysia this weekend. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about uh, fantasy. Oh, we didn't. I haven't checked my uh, fantasy in a bit. I have to, I have to change it because I, yeah. I, I may have made, I may have well, made a sure very, very big mistake. Practice <laughs> begins in about 48 hours. You still get uh, free time to... Yeah, I got to oh, do it tonight. Shit. Fantasy. That, well, you, you can check out the links on the bottom there. Yeah. It's, oh, it's also on the website. Right now. It's also on, yeah, also on the website. Flatoutfever.com. Hit the reach us tab. I know I, I made a bunch of tra uh, trades last time. Like, Oh, yeah? Yeah. I remember, like, after our last race, I was like, I'm going to change everything. <laughs> and I did. But now, there's certain ones that you have to um, um, pick, like... Uh, predictions. Yeah, predictions. Yes, That's Badger. Badger, Badger GP. Yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to join our leagues, too, we got, a couple, do. People, we got a couple of people on uh, each of them playing along. 681-942. 681-942. You need that number to compete with us for some reason. You can't just join. It's on the website, guys. Yeah, it's, on, off, it's also on the website. If you're gonna if you're gonna go and sit down on your computer and think about joining Fantasy F one, you may as well go to our website, flatoffever.com, hit the reach us tab and click on the links there. Yeah, play play Fantasy F one. Like each each of these leagues takes you probably five minutes per race weekend to look at your picks. And it's most fun. most of your picks are locked for most of the season anyway. You pick your favorite Team car driver combination, and hope for the best. Hope they hope they hope they show. Uh, Malaysia's gonna be wet. Yeah. So uh, that might affect my predictions definitely. Uh, Bottas is gonna be back though. I, I kind of got Bottas and Alonso back. I had that him picked. I had him picked up for my pick on two leagues. Bottas to mm. perform. You're supposed to give me some points, man. And then he hurt his. <laughs> he went off the track, hurt his back, and I didn't get any points for. His performance because he had no performance, but he, he'll be back. Sucks. And Alonzo will be back in samurai form. In yeah, Malaysia. full samurai. He's gonna be back in full samurai. You want you want to look at this uh, samurai? You want to look what? at the onboard? Of the yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's watch. This is uh, yes. we get, I, unfortunately we can't because of uh, copyright laws. Yeah, you guys can't see this, or I guess you can't really hear it either. But we're gonna just talk along. This is a Hamilton's pole lap from uh, last year. It was wet as hell. He's on the full wet tires. So those are those are the full wet. Uh, so coming coming up to the first corner. Blue stripe cinturato. We go right down to first oh. gear. Super slow first corner. God. Yeah, it's going really slow here. Super slow, crawling around. Now, how much? So I think. How dangerous do you think it is? Very. It's extremely dangerous? Very, very dangerous. A weird fact about these wet tires is apparently, at, like, at speed, they can lift 60 liters a second. Of, of water. Of water. Just from the ground. Just just from going yeah. around it. You see, like, the rooster tail coming up. <laughs> like, this corner, he'd, he'd normally be at, like, 200 kilometers an hour. Right. You can see how slow he's going. Jeez It's a super, super fast corner, but it's really, really wet there because they're... Hanging out on a peninsula in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, so it's just like hot and humid and rainy, like pretty much all year. Yeah, it looks like it's not warm there, but it's probably about thirty-three or four degrees yeah. there. You can see and the elevation here too. Like there's a big hill. You can you can really see from the top there. This mm. track is cool. Yeah, like 
Look at this. So uh, what yeah, are we like right. reaching on to right now? This is like it, it's slowing it's right down. Half, not, yeah. There's that grandstand that you said that was longest. Yeah, in the background there. The second last corner here, you just kind of like slow right down again. And then here's that crazy long straight. Now, straight down. You go basically up to full speed and then right down to zero again at the hairpin at the end. These high speed sections of this circuit. He only reached sixth gear there in the rain. That's crazy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, <laughs> this, track, this track, you'd be at the top. This is one. The fastest top speed tracks. Here. Oh, cool. Let's see if we, they're not showing the uh, the clock's not up here. Let's see if we can see the time. We just time. One fifty nine is pole lap. I saw this. Is the it, lap, the lap record. To see? Yeah. One one thirty four, I think. Yeah, one thirty four to two twenty three. Ah, it's fucking One fifty nine in the rain. One thirty four is the record. This is gonna be pretty similar this weekend. Nice and slow. Nice and wet. Yeah, so I, it's it's I'm excited about that. I really, really, I really, really am, honestly. Look at that Google Map. Just that you can you can see why it's wet. If we, uh, wherever it is, they're behind this stupid. There we go. What the hell? Why is it so <laughs> technical? Oh, you you zoomed in. That's why. The browser window. Control Control minus. No, it's, it's not. It's not doing it. Oh. Yeah, click on those. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there you go. go. There we go. There we, go. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, figured it out. out. Sticking out on that peninsula, though, like right into the ocean. So I wonder if it is their stormy season or what. I don't know. I think I think I think it is. Yeah, the, it's not monsoon season, is it? I guess it's getting into fall. There, they're in the uh, the southern hemisphere. No, they're not. No, no. still north. I think they are. Really? Yeah. Oh, sure. They're very very close to the equator. <laughs> It's yes. going to be very close, either north or south. Zoom out, zoom out. Sorry, zoom my, zoom uh, way out here. Let's see where... You probably see the equator superimposed, maybe? No? No equator? Uh, you know, I think you're right, though. It could, it could be just, just around the equator. It's, yeah, it's pretty close to the equator. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a crazy country and it's a crazy circuit, man. Something interesting I learned about Malaysia today doing a little bit of research. Yeah. In, uh, I'm going to... Just look at this here to get the year. Made a country in 1946. It's controlled by the British, I guess, for since the 1800s or so. Or so. Uh, in 1957, Malaya, used to be called Malaya, united with North Borneo, Sarawak, and Singapore. Sorry, in 1963. Two years later... They kicked out Singapore. They kicked out Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness, because today we have the Singapore Grand Prix. Yeah, that's true. Which happens a bit later in the year. Which also, damn. Which also a badass track. Damn, the street circuit. Damn is right. Thank God they kicked him out. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Back in 1965. Because there never be two Malaysian Grand Prix. No. Exactly. Well, <laughs> who knows? Malaysian is like is, is, is one of the, like the little known, but definitely still there. Uh, like the Asian Tigers. Like yeah. After they, they gained independence from Britain, um, they so, went through like a, a series of, uh, of reforms that like... It, have made it like the big money like it's uh, it, they, they are one of the strongest economies in the region and it's like six as far as asia they're second for growth last year but yeah. they, they've averaged for the last like 80 years six percent growth or something yeah it's crazy like they Philipp, i saw the philippines was the biggest last year 6.1 percent great progress going yeah, on in crazy. uh in malaysia um it's it, it is crazy because it's, it's it's very segmented and it's very very there's, there's a lot of like different like races and mm -hmm. and, and and different kinds like of just hundreds ethnicities hundreds of people yeah like hundreds but it's 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 um it's it's a Muslim country, right? Like by I think mostly Muslim. Yeah. yeah, but by by decree, like the state is is, is supposed to be Muslim, but they're also very big on like freedom of religion. But yeah, they are very free. Um, and, and but they, their king is is elected. They have like an elected king. And that's and I, you, I found the he, He's like I think he's he's like a Bernie extreme type of guy too. Like <laughs> you you don't fuck with the <laughs> <of religion>. <laughs> <laughs> like I probably I can't never go there ever again just from saying that. Probably yeah. Oh yeah no if they they're they're crazy like that. Oh like if you if you if you if you found to be like uh, not that insulting have, not yeah. or 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 being blasphemous towards the king of yeah you're which you're, I'm absolutely not but. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> 
Well, that, that's, oh, no, you're done. that's the way they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. But so what happened is that recently, when when uh, when they were going like their big like um, economic boom um, through the '90s and whatever, uh, they had this one strong armed prime minister mm. um, that I. I forget his name. That doesn't matter. No. Oh yeah, Mahathir Mohammed, and like he, like he was, like, he served for like twenty years altogether. But he was like one of like the biggest like guys that like went and brought like progress to Malaysia. And he built like he would like he he noticed that the main city in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, he's like oh it's getting too big, it's getting too congested. Let's like move all the government part outside like twenty kilometers. And once they were building, like, a purposely built city just to be, like, the nation's, like, political capital, mm -hmm. they were like, uh, yeah, let's build a racetrack as well. Mm. <laughs> and that's, Fuck it. Like, that's, that, that's where Sepan came. It was, like, in, in the late 90s, right? Like, 99, I think. <clears throat> 99 was the first uh, Malaysian Grand Prix. They, they built it, like, they built basically, like, a big airport, uh, the you, racetrack. If you zoom out, <laughs> yeah. maybe just a few kilometers here, you'll see the airport's right beside, which is a perfect place to build a Formula One track, is beside... Oh, or are you going to be right having there. 787s yeah. and A380s coming in? Yeah. yeah. Smaller, I guess there was a smaller airport originally. Built it international. Mm -hmm. They got a couple of racetracks there. If you look on the top left of the track where the flag is, <clears throat> they got two motocross tracks there. There's a smaller go-kart track there. Giant parking lot. Two, two motocross tracks. Yeah. It's crazy. Jeez. That's, it's that's like more like an off-road track, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a big park, yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 th I think that is like what all booming economies should be doing. You know, if you're a booming economy, build a new city, build a racetrack on yeah. top of it or right, right around it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, a couple, it would seem silly not A couple to. dumb facts about the track. The past six, six out of the past ten pole positions have won the race. Three stops is the fastest strategy because it's a rough surface. It's a rough surface track. So it oh. wears out the tires a little faster. Oh damn! One of the one of the longest first straights to the corner, six hundred sixty meters from the start line to the first corner, and I've, I've, I'm not one hundred percent on this, but I think that's the longest grandstand in the world, one point three kilometers. But the China has a similar one that's crazy long, like yeah, that too. China, China has a really long one too. China, maybe, maybe it's bigger. I don't know, but it's, that one's pretty big. Yeah, one point three kilometers of seats. It's interesting that you brought up the fact that most winners here have been from pole. This is true, but I think a lot of that has to do with the rain. Remember, Alonso won there from sixth, one time. Yeah, only six, six out of ten. And they've been they've been racing there for over fifteen years now. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't yeah. I don't know all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, like on average, you sweat out three liters of water per race too in this. Mm. Just keep drinking all, oh. all weekend from the heat. Humidity. That must be that's, that must be nuts, man. Like you're like especially if it's raining and it's hot and you're like in a hot cockpit, like with your with your uh fireproof suits like drenched going like I I, I yeah. used to I used to have a motorcycle in Colombia when I lived there and and it rains a lot there too. So <laughs> similar feeling, yeah. Well no, just it, it, I remember similar like go, going like maybe like latitude. sixty kilometers an hour and that's like the fastest that I think I ever drove in the in the run in the rain. And and it's it's intense. It's like it's 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 so annoying. Like just getting rained on when you're when you're just moving around with no like with nothing in front of you, and you can't see, man. Like like even if you have like goggles or or whatever, like it just keep if it keeps raining on you, like yeah. it's you don't have windshield wipers. It's 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 they, yeah. these guys going three hundred, and then they have <laughs> like layers upon layers of those stupid peel off things that their guys put on with bubbles all in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see you'll see you, you now that i've mentioned it you'll see it constantly like okay they put over their visor they just put probably like 20 of these clear sticker type things yeah and then whenever they get like too many bugs and oil and shit on their face then yeah they just peel off these stickers oh, and then they get it one free. layer at a time yeah, yeah <laughs> basically <laughs> that's yeah. great yeah and then they have to be careful like they, they like and they, yeah they always like do like a pretty dramatic motion because they have to be careful that it doesn't fall in the air intake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh like no. Two years ago, I think at Spa, somebody peeled one off and it went inside someone's brake duct. The brake caught on fire and they had to stop the race. <laughs> no the brake way. Just overheated his brake. Just, just like that. It went and just happened to get sucked in that little hole that cools the brakes. Jeez. And overheated the dude's brakes Christ. behind him. <laughs> That was it. I forget I who it was. You just see this thing like going through the air. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
It basically looks like this. Like they just, they, it basically looks like they just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're going like three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Man, I can't wait for this race though. It should be good. Who do, who do, practice. Uh, let's 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 start speculating. Let's go. 30, 30 Lewis hours, Hamilton. Thirty-five hours from practice. Oh, I mean, not Mercedes. Yeah, it's it's probably good. It's probably going to be a Mercedes. That's no question. Yeah. They, yeah. With those long straights and like high speed race, this is gonna be a Mercedes circuit, especially in the dry, but also in the wet. Um, but I just said it because they're my. I picked them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're, giving, you're giving away you're your giving uh, away? your 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 fantasy <laughs> F1 strategy. Is that really that big of a strategy? I don't, I don't think so. No, it's won the last race. There's a good chance he'll do it again. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> You're just playing the stats game, eh? Yeah. Well, that's why I asked you, who do you think is the better, the uh, one of the better drivers in the rain? Because mm. if I knew it was going to rain, then I'd pick probably one of those guys, right? What? Jensen Button had one of the best rain performances of all Canada, time in Canada. A couple, of, yeah, yeah, 2012 in Canada, but unfortunately, his car's a piece of shit. Oh. Right, right and now. so and so is Alonso. And Alonso. What if it's better in the rain? It could be, but it's probably not going to be. Probably. That oh, might, that might be. That oh, might be guys. a strong point. You know? Guys, 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 Rain's guys. I forgot about this. I, I meant. I meant to bring this up earlier. Uh, but Danny, please pass me that white box there. That's white box. Yeah. Um. So, remember how like, um, when when we were doing like practice and before that like the the the, 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 the previous podcasts. Oh, yes. Um. Oh. What, I I and, I and I and I said that for for every like uh, um, uh, race spot because I was gonna bring something from the country. Yeah. And last week, unapologetically. And maybe because I was getting a little sick, I totally forgot to grab anything Australia related. Ah, okay. Not even a beer, not even a drink. Actually, I, I thought that maybe I was gonna grab some like wine from Victoria. Yeah. But I, mean, I, drink, not, not, I drink the kangaroo we're, wine. We're not we're so. not gonna sit here and sip <laughs> yeah. wine. So, <laughs> so should be beer. And as a redemption, guys, I brought for for us all today um, some. This is a kangaroo. Australian meat pies. What? Yeah. Meat pies. Meat pies from oh. Australia. This, these are these the are smell things. Smell just exploded out of there. Yeah, <laughs> Australian meat pie. There is that a kangaroo's footprint on there? Maybe. <laughs> These so these are very popular in Australia oh as God. like a like like a snack and shit. Oh shit, that smells r ridiculous. Yeah, they Where sell did them. You get this? Uh, this place called Kanga is like near uh, Kanga? near Osgood uh, Osgood Station. If we, if anybody's listening from Toronto, Kanga like kangaroo. This yeah, is dense. Yeah, it's like a. This is great. This. Uh, the K is like a boomerang. <laughs> Sorry, where is it? Where is it? Near Osgood. It's like just on uh, Macaw, uh, South of Queen. Oh man, this is good. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> into the microphone. Yeah, don't. Yeah. It tastes ridiculous. Though. This is fantastic. This is fucking awesome. Holy shit. It's like, um, like a Jamaican uh, beef body, but better. Like so much better. <clears throat> Redeemed. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is pretty good. Mm. Not saying I don't like beer or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like meat too though. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. Crazy. Mm. Back to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what else we can say about Malaysia. To no, I think we're done. <laughs> like, this, is that, this is the race. Uh practice practice starts at about thirty hours or so. Something like yeah. that. It's gonna be raining. Let's look at that forecast one more time. Let me still have it open. Yeah, right at the end. That's that's a lot of rain. Awesome. And not very much lightning. Awesome. No, you don't want those thunderbolts. No. 33, 32, and click, click on the precipitation degrees. thing here. Oh yeah, there we go. Get a, a graph. Okay. Oh. What? What kind of chances are that? <laughs> no, that's just today. No. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna rain in the evening. Let's click uh, oh, click, click see. Sunday. See what they're saying right now for Sunday. For uh, oh yeah, ninety two percent oh, chance. Just, just in the morning. Oh, it's in the morning. Yeah, twenty twenty five percent chance all afternoon. But who knows? That's that's still that's, five five days away. Yeah, no, that could change. change dramatically. Four days away. But I mean, like rain in the cards is fucking. It's there, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> like it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. The roads are gonna be wet either way. From the extremely wet. Yeah. You can see the greens and the blue tires. Ooh. Can't wait. Ooh. Uh, they shape I guess, differently, I guess. Nah, well, I, uh, we're, we're going to do another um, 
one of those ride alongs. Oh, that, that's, that's was right. fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll do it. So we'll, we'll do it for the so race, and um, we should be back on Monday. To talk about this race. Yeah, enjoy. All right, guys. Oh God, just mm-hmm. sprung that one mm-hmm. on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, let's take care of the weather. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'm trying to fill. You're doing a great job, man. Mm-hmm. The bass, the bass is within arm's reach. Pick it up. <laughs> Good thing, yeah, I'll do a live one. <laughs> oh, Play us man. out. I dropped the file. Drop the ball. Drop the ball is what you did. Yeah. <laughs> you dropped the meat pie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my God, I should have twice that amount of meat pies. Okay, bye everybody. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.